hello guys welcome in my first video about this game shop heroes my name is mike and we will talk about some things in this game such as how to level up how to increase net worth how to earn golds gems or some arena i will show you how i play so maybe you can find your way which is better for you so let's start okay first thing how, how to level up mm, only way how to level up is sell items to your heroes so uh, every item gives you some experience uh, depends on level item and level quality for example now i have this amount of experiences as you can see when I sell something, for example, um, let's take these angelic strings, which are level 40 on great quality, it will give me some experience, as you can see. So, that's the only way how to level up. Uh, everybody uh, is starting with one crafting slot then you can buy another and another to max of nine each costs some golds but every time it's higher and higher price as you can see we have two types of crafting slots blue and purple purple can craft directly something with pre-craft which you can craft for example, as you can see, we have Dirk, it needs one knife, so I can make it like this, and it will craft directly Dirk. It needs only common quality, and as you can see, I have great quality of knife, minimum, so it can be. For example, if you need, let's say, great life Stealer. I need to check. Life stealer is on the common, so I can. I need to craft first life stealer. If I had uh, great quality, I can then craft dark hand. Blue are simple because you cannot craft like this, but you need to craft knife. Then you need to wait, collect it. And then you can craft Dirk from it. This is different between craft slots. Also, you have difference between uh, sorry quest slots. These are simple blue one, which means when the quest and heroes stays like they are. In a purple, uh, when they end quest. They will starting resting up and you don't need to pick up them so let's say you wanna go for I don't know an old tower you go to sleep they finish during the night and they are resting immediately so this is the difference between these blue and purple craft slots and quest slots Next, what we can talk about is your net worth. This is this number. Only thing why you need net worth higher is because uh, when you have low net worth, you cannot sell um, high level items on the trade house. You have to have at least that amount, what is uh, amount of the item. So let's say, for me example I have 343 G so I am able to sell any item if you have mm, network let's say 2 millions you will be not able to sell items like this which have value higher than 2 millions so this is the network uh, one thing which I forgot about leveling up uh, each time you level up you will get some gems 
and only thing why is level up needed is because of raid uh, about which we will talk later okay uh, how to earn golds mm, there are only one way is selling item uh, but you can sell items which you craft maybe which you find for low price so and then you can sell it also on trade house or maybe to heroes uh, another way is selling artifacts which you can see here you can see all prices maybe for the request for instantly price uh, it's really good for low level players um, because you can craft only items which have really low value but artifacts for example elven use um, gives you 4.5k golds each so this can be faster for somebody let's talk about gems uh, for me personally i prefer selling pre-crafts for example these days we have one item which gives pretty decent gems it's epic imperial mantle which is pre-craft for the ugly sweeter so as you can see price is really high for the gems no offers for golds so this is one way how to earn gems selling pre-crafts find your pre-craft uh, which you wanna craft or fuse another way is daily roulette as you can see here are gems so if you are lucky you will get them next uh, way how to earn gems are quests better say quest loots uh, here is a really low chance to gem drop so if you are questing questing a lot for example let's say city seers as you can see uh, my quest time is 19 seconds so one minute which is minimum uh, so you you can have gems also from that another way is arena but here is it only monthly reward all rewards you can see there and only few players get them only 1500 and this tier get only 15 gems but when you are higher and higher as you can see the gems go up first get 3000 gems so it's pretty decent and arena also um, help your city but we will talk about arena a little bit later uh, one thing which I forgot about golds um, I highly recommend uh, craft only money makers if you want to go for golds and then upgrades uh, for free to play free to play I'm sorry excuse me for free to play players I recommend level 33 potion which is pre-craft for the Gaia Essence at the great quality and as you can see on for example in requests um, yeah there is it is 40 millions so 40 millions for one item is pretty nice also let's check offers it's 44 millions as offer so this is probably best item to craft for low players or better say low level players new players then we have some pack blueprints for me first money maker was ocarina which is a little bit lo longer craft time for me is now only one hour 48 minutes but for you it will be so much longer 
and as you can see it needs two great nordic loot as pre-craft so this is the wisdom ocarina uh, from chest blueprints we have one money maker as well which i like it's gas essence which is faster more expensive but it needs uh, as pre-craft a uh, great potion level 33 which i was talking about a um, few minutes ago so this is it uh, nowadays i have back blueprint as money maker which is quicksilver as you can see for me craft time is really really low and value is so high so this is money makers which i am using or better say now i am using only quicksilver but few times a uh, few months ago i was using also potion and also ocarina and i focused on them to make some golds well let's t talk about quests now i can collect these silvers as you can see we have loot on every hero you get only one so this is it let's talk about quests uh we have three tiers of quests every is mm, longer which and needs more power of heroes better say a uh, wall group so also every quest have some tiers as you can see this i have cleared every quest have five tiers and what do you see here i have 31 of 120 when i reach 120 i will be able to fight a boss which have um, bonus loot so i will bring more artifacts than i expect once you clear you get a trophy and it's decoration so here are the all tier 1 tier 2 quests and tier 3 you need um, resources from this quest to craft items uh, higher level of item needs higher level of resource or artifact okay let's talk about upgrades and workers so why do you need to upgrade your storage or some crafting tables let's say bins storage is pretty simple uh, max level is 15 and when you have all maxed you are able to store a maximum 720 items in your inventory so upgrades uh, makes your inventory bigger also bins are very very important because as you can see I have a lot of resources of these free bins so once you upgrade them you will get more and for some items let's say quicksilver you need 150 mana you are kept on 300 if you don't have upgraded bins you, you are not able to craft it so that's the reason why you need it upgraded to max also crafting stations is uh, max level is also 15 and it gives you 1000 skill points as cap uh, what does it mean you can get 1000 skill points of every skill and use it let's check out this for metal working you need 34k alchemy 20k and go so on what does it mean mm, higher skill points which you are using will more decrease your crafting time so i set up my workers for quicksilver and as you can see these are my skill points which i am using 
you are getting skill points also from city for example park gives you plus 400 to alchemy and 400 for sewing so this is the free uh, don't mm, cannot say free you need to invest into your city but it's 400 for free we can say but it costs you only gold don't need to level up workers and put their uh, skill points let's move to the uh, workers you can have eight workers total we have four types of workers uh, we have or I'm sorry only three so we have three skills workers and two skill uh, and last type are paid basically that's the giant and jack uh, I recommend have worker for every skill but you need to figure out what do you want to craft on mostly so then make a setup for low level players I recommend um, try to get equally points to every skill uh, and then when you have uh, workers on higher level then you can starting putting your points also in mastery what does it mean mastery so that's the number uh, which is counting from all uh, workers and this is chance of crafting higher quality item mm, you need 1771 i think um, mastery points to be able craft at least good quality when you have mastered blueprint so for example this quicksilver i no longer uh, can craft common quality at least good which is higher price so that's good for me mm. as you can see hey, jack is for me is just for the giving skill points to every skill and okay let's talk about heroes every hero have uh, his building and city uh, from which you can get some experience by donating also um, every hero have three skills for example Mojian have commander archwizard thunderbolt you have explained here what is it so and every hero have different for example francesca have fastidious resilient supplier you need to check out what is what and then you can um, think about it and how to equip heroes how to make groups uh because some items have abilities as well only better say that's big blueprints and chest blueprints i will show you some items which are from the chest uh, and show you which abilities are most important i think also every hero have uh abilities for arena also three so these are important for arena every hero is mm, possible to equip for quest which you can see here items or arena set these items in arena set the uh, hero will use only in arena not in quests when you break item from arena set uh, he will get it back so for example these are my skills which I got from the quest set first three skills uh, you are getting by hero level so if you don't have them just click on your hero and you will see on which level 
he will get that ability. Abilities from Arena, uh, you need to quest them, better say. Uh, so, if you wanna go, you will go for the inn. There are heroes, and if they are able to get ability and quest it, they will have some mark on in top of their head. You will click on it, just go for the quest, and if quest was successful, you will get the ability. So let's uh, talk about item spells. For example, for me is um, most important ability support. Uh, I will show you example here. Balmung is level four this sword, which have support two at legendary quality. It told me uh, prevent a companion's equipment from breaking two items during the quest. So, if you have enough support, uh, your heroes will no longer break the items. Uh, enough support for one party, six-man party, is six or seven support, better more than less. So, this is the support. Then, second most important uh, ability is Energetic. For example, Willet Leather from the Epic. Reduce the resting time after quest by 50%. So, that means uh, when you have equipped this on the Epic quality, uh, your hero will not rest, for example, one hour but only 30 minutes. It is taking to 100%. So, you can make them no resting, as you can see, uh, one hero have this skill, Alicia Energetic 3, and there is 100%, so you don't need to put Energetic on this hero. Next one, and for me, which I'm working on, is Revive. Revive a uh, Fallen Companion 15% of the time. This means when you reach Revive 100%, your hero will never get injured. So, when you reach 100%, you can go many times as you want. There's no chance to get injured. So, these three uh, abilities, Energetic, Support and Revive makes you that you can go one quest for another and another and another with no injuries, no breaks. Next one for me is Speedrunner. What does it mean? Well, let's check out. Reduce the quest duration by 25%. That's Speedrunner 2. We have Speedrunner 2. Speedrunner 1 is 10%. Speedrunner 3 is 50%. So, uh, you will get reduced time on your quests, um, which you saw on my sewing, because it was only one minute. Um, cap is also 100%, but minimum quest time is one minute. So, you cannot go lower, but still, I think one minute primal horns or something like this is pretty solid and then you have for example loot which is magic find increase the maximum number of artifacts and raid items found by each party member by two that means if you are able to collect uh, from one to one item on the quest this will increase your maximum and you will be able to find from one to three Example, it is taking unlimited times, so it is perfect ability, I think. Also, we have a little bit different that detect secrets increase the minimum number of artifacts, but maximum is kept. So, for example, if you have from one to one and you have detect secrets, you stay at one, but if you have from one to two, uh, every party member will get two mm, items 
better say are artifacts or raid items. So this is about abilities. Uh, for low players, or better say starting players, is also spell healer, which is um, easier to get than revive, and its radius healing time of 25% or 10% is he, uh, healer 1, I think. I'm not sure if we have also healer 3, but this is only uh, for the start game or free to play players. Okay, this is about uh, item abilities. Uh, we have many, many more, but all other is useless, I think, or not worth at all. Uh, but as you can see, for example, highest quality which you can craft is legendary. But this detect secrets is from mythical quality. How to get mythical? We have two ways. First way is expensive. We can choose it on the trade map. Yes, and find some myth items which cost gems for sure. Or second, we have fusion. Well, what is the fusion? Uh, you are getting a higher quality of items. For example, I want from this great quality get flawless. As you can see, in form for uh, 7 hours 49 minutes, I will get flawless helm. Uh, for flawless, you need only 3 grades. For grade, you need 2 good, a success rate 100%. Or for flawless, you need 5 to get epic, and as well for the legendary. Well, want to show you. So, need to find some legendary items. Example. Mm, let me find them. Yes. So, as you can see, five legendary items gives you only 66% success rate to mythical. Now we have charms, which are plus 25 success rate. 50 or 75 this you can get from raid or roulette or from this lady as you can see example for three powerful charm you will get one ultimate charm but there are only five per day <coughs> excuse me so let's check out this one how to uh, be more effective about the quality or fuse time. Well, let's say about this flawless item to epic. It takes two days, eight, eight hours. For example, if I mix it with one epic item, it is one day, 13 hours. So, and still highest level is 47, which are these four. And this is only level 14, so I recommend lowest quality, which you mostly want, yes, uh, make as high as level. As you can see, here are 88% for the epic. Also, we get 8.5% for legendary, which means this epic gives me the chance, and 3% for this legendary. Now, I will show you if you mix more items. For example, this protector gauntlets. Uh, fuse time is only one day, and you have around 88% of your wanted item. We can mix one more to see what happens. For example, goddess tier. Uh, goddess tier is too low. Mm, example, jaguar helm. Let's swap this as well. Uh, this depends only on item levels. So, here is it. 18 hours and 30 minutes if you get two flawless and three epics. Different epics, of, of course. 
So this is only tricky way uh, how to fuse. Mm, let's say if you wanna be 100% sure you get uh, your wanted item, just don't mix them yeah, and put five flawless, but you will get higher fuse time. If you mix it like this, you get lower fuse time, but you have chance of legendary uh, and other items. So this is about fusions. You can also upgrade the slot, which takes, of course, gems. And what does this slot do? For example, when I put one flawless uh, round in normal slot, it will give me only one. But in upgraded slot, it will give me also second, so it duplicates highest value item. So this is about fusing. Also use your charms, it helps. So this is about fusing. Uh, now we can speak about arena. You have three arena rounds for free uh, every day, um, which is pretty pretty good. Uh, you need to set up your defending crew with also spells, as you can see on Fiora. I have, for example, Holy Shield, which means uh, when my ally gets buffed, she will buff also her teammates. Uh, you need to check this out, what is best for you, also what is doing which hero to be able to uh, predict what is using your opponent. Because you don't know exactly, yes, as you can see these question marks, that means you don't know which ability is it. But for example, I know Kuro have debuffs, Mojian have retribution, and here are counter spell, and here is repel magic, which means when I get buff, they will debuff me. So for example, I go for retribution team, which means I go for Kuro, Min, Fiora, Mojian, and Kuro Shobi. Okay. I'm set it up, so let's Kurul's ability. Before combat starts, reduce Kurul's opponent and their right teammates power by 25. Now you can see this is Kurul's place, and these are opponents for which uh, he will make a debuff. Yes, next one, retribution. When an ally loses, reduce the, op uh, the power of the opponent and the right teammates by 40%. Here is activation 50% times, so as you can see here is one retribution, second, third, and last one, Kuroshobi, hit moment during combat, reduce Kuroshobi's opponent power by 75%, which is only 1% and activation is 50%, so let's check out if I make a good choice, uh, make it a little bit faster so as you can see Guru Prox yes he's also and first battle I lost Prox Retribution for three players Mojian Prox as well for last two yeah second battle I lost third I won we have Retribution as well but I still have better power so it's good so four is mine Fifth is also mine. For victory, you need win three of five battles. So this is it, how it goes. For one arena run, you have seven battles and you can lose only three times. Uh, every time you will get some um, uh, jewels for which you are uh, able to upgrade your city which gives you for example this temple when I upgrade it it gives 5% to Min and 5% to Clovis also it gives me city fame so uh, when you earn crown jewels you are able to upgrade buildings which gives you more potent or better say your resources will be, for example, filling faster. 
yeah. Okay. Uh, we have only two things to uh, talk about, and one is raid, second is trade wars. Uh, that are events. Uh, raid is every week from Friday till Sunday. Uh, every city is involved. Uh, during Friday, you will get one icon here, more. You chose your raid, um, and for raid, you can get uh, rewards for collecting of items. It will be here on quest and most of the left. Uh, it will show you raid its quests, which um, where you can uh, find the loot when you collect loot. Um, to clear raid is needed uh, 160,000 to get all the rewards, uh, but rewards are pretty good. Uh, you are able to get some keys, chests, resources, blueprint fragments. Also, blueprint is here, so this is really, really, really nice. And uh, you are collecting these items as a city. Uh, I told blueprint fragments. What is it? Um, you are able to unlock blueprint, chest blueprint for blueprint fragments. As you can see now, I have only two, and to unlock stretch seed, I need 67. So when I get 67, I am able to unlock it. Or second way is unlock it by chests. Uh, we have several types of chests: wooden, leather, iron, golden, magic, dwarvish, and primal. Uh, every chest has some blueprints. So, you need to open them for, with keys or with gems. That's on your own decision. And they have uh, blueprints with abilities. For example, this Necro stuff, which have 3 by 3 uh, is from Primal Chest. For example, uh, yeah. You need to check out on the website or somewhere. Uh, which chests have which blueprints. Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot tell you about every blueprint. So this is about the raid also. Uh, in raid, more, very important is castle, which is unlocking you reward. As you can see, you need, for example, castle level 44 to have uh, raid reward level 34. Yeah. So, as I said, level 40 is cap for the raid, and here is important also your own level because when you are higher level, you are able to collect higher rewards. For example, if you are level 20, you are able to collect only, I don't know, maybe 20 25 rewards from the raid. And last thing is trade wars. Uh, trade wars have only three uh, types. Or there's, uh, on sorry, two types. One is with rising tempest. One is with sinister gaze. Uh, trade wars are every two weeks from Monday to Wednesday, so three days. And these uh, trade wars are. Mm, Every two weeks is another blueprint. So first time is, for example, sinister gaze. Then two weeks break, and then we have uh, trade war with rising tempest. So and there are three sections in trade wars. First is investments. So basically, you invest gold or gems as you want to the trade wars, and it gives you some points. Let's say. And for these points, you are unlocking rewards. These points you are collecting as well as city for three days. Every day is res resetting um, amount of gold which you need to uh, donate to get the points. Uh, second is arena run. You have three arena runs, uh, and also you are getting these points to be able to collect rewards. And last is donating items, uh, which means you have to donate, donate 
five item of special blueprint line which is let's say chosen for that day and you will get points for these um, items depends of level and quality and after three days it ends also uh, cities are getting rewards on, based on how they ended uh, to compare to another cities so basically that's it uh, i'm sorry for a little bit longer video but i think we told about everything have a nice day and take care ciao